Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to Automation Empire. Uh, as you may have guessed, this game is entirely about automation. Uh, you've probably seen other people play it, but here we are, we are playing it. Uh, I'm starting from the main menu here just to give you an idea of the maps that we have. So when we start up, we get 10 different ones we get to choose from. I think the other ones here get unlocked when we start finishing off the missions. Now there's 10 different ones. There's uh, Split Valley, which are actually apparently different planets, which is interesting. I don't know if there's going to be any type of transfer between planets, but... So we have uh, Split Valley. We have Rocky Hills. Now I have played a, just a little bit of it, and this is the one I chose, and it seems like a fairly basic st starter map, for instance. But then we have other ones here, like uh, Coastline. Uh, what is it? Glacier Zone. So you get an ice environment to work in. I don't think uh, the environments actually affect anything, it's just really backdrop and landscape. Then we have Oasis Lake, Island Hopper. This one, this one's interesting. Now, as you can see, it's supposed to try to transfer resources across little islands using rails, which is interesting, but uh, there is some research involved, so trying to get to a point like that may be not good for a first map. And then we have Compact Canyon. Which is interesting. I don't think I've looked at this one yet. That's interesting. And then we have Snow Forest, which is another ice one. But anyways, we're gonna go to Rocky Rocky Hills here, and we we'll create a new colony, and we're gonna name this uh, Let's Play AE. Uh, there's a starter mode, which, as you can see, uh, gives you a couple of rebuilt buildings. So basically, you start off with drones and start off with power. And we're gonna do that just because uh, that's what I've done. I've played about half an hour of this game and that's about it so here we go uh, so far it looks quite interesting I haven't gone too far past the drone level but it really is about uh, automation and processing but anyway so uh, yeah so here we are we're at Rocky Hills now this is our goal is to have a three month weight output of 30,000 kilos so what, what we're doing is we're actually processing ores and minerals out of the ground and we're creating them from the crates, get picked up by the drones, get dropped off into the truck, and then get sold off at the market. Now, there, I'll show you the HUD at the top here. The first one just happens to be our research. So we get research points, which we might get into in this episode because we're gonna need a lot of these research points. And this is where you unlock different things like unlock refinery, uh, conveyors, claws, crates. Uh, oil derricks and stuff like that. And the next one is uh, upgrades for equipment. We can actually cut down the, the time on the trucks. So as you can see, we take one and a half seconds off between deliveries. Same with the trains, claws and all that stuff. We can get speed upgrades even for like the drones, but something like that is 100,000. Yeah, that's a lot of points. And I'll show you why when we get to it. The next one is going to be our basically our our ledger more or less our, our revenue or in our revenue and then our expenses uh, we do have to pay for the power that we use so that's an interesting thing as you can see right here uh, then this is selling prices of the different things we can do we can sell just straight uh, or we can sell oh I guess we can't oh yeah we can crude oil coal iron uh, it's not showing everything because you can actually get like uh, coal and coal ore, which this is, that's what we're selling. And then here's weights. Now, uh, the stuff that we're pulling out of the ground right now is unprocessed, and that's all this stuff here. So we are pro taking out coal ore. One crate equals one kilo. If we run it through a refinery, when we get to that, that stage, we get 10 kilos per crate. So it basically ups our production as it goes. Now we can actually watch this guy leave. Uh, as soon as the truck exits that tunnel, we get paid. We pay attention to the money here. Uh, as far as I know, there's no speed increase for the game. So it's basically one speed. Uh, you can create, uh, as you can see, you create different road and entry and exit points to increase delivery, increase production. So the truck goes, you come down here and you look and we get seven grand so it's not bad but at the same time too this thing is using power and that thing is using power so we're paying for that and that's at seven hundred dollars a month but anyways so we do have a goal uh, which is 
here. This is just tips showing you about mine carts and different things, uh, recipes. Yeah, run coal through coal ore through refinery, refiner to get coal. Uh, same with iron, gold, oil, yada yada yada. And then this is our gold. Well, these two are both our goals: is to get thirty thousand kilos in three months. There's a calendar there, and that's how much we've done since we've started in about two months. So, yeah, uh, that is it. So let us begin. So I do have some money. I think the first thing to do is do what I did last time. Let's get another. Uh, this is our uh, tools bar, block bar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's the demolish button. You can sell anything and get money back for it. And we go in here, uh, great stuff is stuff that's not unlocked yet. We have to research that. We can get buy drones. Drones need a drone bay. As you can see, it costs $400 per month and costs $10,000 to build. Uh, there's our research points. Uh, there's our funds. That's how many drones we have available. Each one can sustain four, or sustain four. So I can have three more drones. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, the research bay. Now this is how we start getting the research points. Now this actually requires you to pump resources directly into it instead of creating it, uh, which we'll actually get into that first. But anyways, yeah. So we got uh, basic factory stuff to get into here. We get uh, uh, logistics like transfer pipes, connection tubes, tanks, and then these are we'll call them underground pipes. They're color coded, so as you can read by there, you match out color to color. Our power, power poles, power stations. So I can get another power station, but keep in mind the more power we use, the more we have to pay every month. It's not just a matter of consumption, it's a matter of paying the bill, too. And this is our production. So we got a mine rig here, a crater. So anything that pulls resources out of the ground can be piped into a crater, which puts it to a crate. Now the crate can either go onto a truck or be brought into other machines like the refiner when we get to it to actually be refined into better materials. You can set priorities on everything and even filter everything. So I can say, okay, you're only going to be dropping off. Well, we can go none and just you're only dropping off gold fuel. But we're not going to do that because we're just going to do all. And then you can set priority, turn it off, and it goes red. But we want to make money, so we're going to do that. And then uh, get down to conveyors. We get some sort of farming. I haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, mine carts, tracks. Claws, rails, and same thing, rail entry and exit points, and there's our roads. And then we can also add extra pit stops, so instead of having one truck waiting to get loaded, you can have two. And uh, again, we will get to shortly, because we're going to need to. Anyways, so what we do is we'll just go ahead and grab, grab that, it'll snap to the, the node. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the name of the moment name at the moment but as you can see there's four output points on it so we can place one there and we're gonna need some research anyway so we're gonna place another one here uh, let me zoom out and as you can see you can it'll automatically connect the wire it'll only go so far something like three block sizes maybe four and then it disconnects and if it does disconnect then all you have to do is just I wish I a power pole and connect and same thing. This will connect to the nearest node and connect if possible. So you don't have to lay wire or anything like that. So that is going. Uh, this one here is going to be going into another crater. So we'll go into the crater here. Uh, there it is. I'm lost. Now, uh, in order for it to go in, we actually do need to go into here. I don't know what the actual tab is. And get a transfer tube. We can use a short one or a long one. We'll get a short one because... We only need the short one. Uh, direction of the arrow shows the direction it's in. Arrow points to the output, so have it that way. So it comes in this side, goes out that way. Then we'll put a crater here. Same thing, you can see it's got an input on the sides as well, and then I'll put at the end. Place that there, it automatically gets connects and gets power. And then what we need to do after that is we actually have to put, uh, there's load station and unload station. Now, if you look at it, the load station has a down arrow. And this is, uh, drones can only drop off items here. Uh, the unload station has an arrow pointing up. Drones can only unload from there. So 
So I'm actually going to put a couple of them down. You can actually click and drag this, and I didn't know this until just recently. You click and drag, and then click again to place. And I'm going to add two more on this end here. Uh, as you can see, it's red, and that's because it's disabled right now. Priority high. And while we're at it, let's get uh, three more drones, because we can. You don't require power, but there we go. So that is going. Now, while that is doing its thing, we're going to go over and get some research going. So we're going to grab the research bay here. I actually had to put it over here. I forgot about that. Uh, it's a shame I can't connect to both of them. But anyway, so place it there. i got to leave the one block space because I do need this. Now this confused me because I was, I was trying to put the crates directly into it, but that wasn't the case. There's a research bay. As you can see, it's actually taking in contents from this mi mining rig. And getting research points. Now we can't actually claim until it gets to this blue bar, and then we, when it does, it will get. As you can see, for each one, we're getting about a thousand, so we might get twenty thousand on our first claim. But anyways, so now the robots have got nowhere to go, so let's give them another truck stop. We'll add another one here, and that'll double the amount of trucks that we have coming out. And another truck should come pretty quick. I could add another tunnel, but I'm not too worried about it because there's the other truck. All right, what else can we do? So that is going. We're still getting research there. We have uh, these going. Uh, I can't really do much research at the moment, so we're going to let that go. Uh, unfortunately, I can't pipe into that one. If I could, I would, but oh well. Uh, let's actually explore the map while we're waiting these guys to make us some money and get some research. So this is the map that we have here right now. It's actually quite big. Uh, you can see the different deposits, like there's more coal, I think that is, over here. We've got our oil over here. We've got gold over here. Uh, from what I can tell, it's a static map. I think this game is still in development. I could be wrong, but yeah, we got more deposits over here. Some more gold over there. Of course, the gold sells for more than the coal. Oh, wow, there's a more area over here, too. Interesting. So this is where the rails come in. Uh, the trains themselves, I think, are for... Yeah, so loading up more stuff. That's what we're going to need, like the high-speed loading and stuff, things like that. Now, that looks like more oil over here. I'm pretty sure there's iron here somewhere. And look at that, we're making money. I don't know how much I spent. It'd be nice if there's a faster way to get back here. <laughs> yeah. The trucks are rolling out the research doing. That is still chugging along. Uh, we can't really do much until we start getting into a factory. The factory is where we start getting into the refiner. The refiner is going to basically... Increase the amount we're outputting by 10%. So right now we're doing 66 a month, or 60, 22 a month, right? because that's for three months. Well, it hasn't been three months yet, but it's going to increase that by 10 times. Now, there's also other things we get into, like a combiner. And the combiner will actually combine two things and then increase that by even more. And I believe there was a... Yeah, this is... Yeah, there we go. So combiner, we can put combine green grain and red grain to get grain meal, which I do believe sells. Yeah, so fifteen hundred for grain meal. It's actually less, but you're getting more per crate. And I think that's how it really goes. Anyways, how's the research going? The research is still chugging along. Not much we can really do over here. Could probably get a third truck in. That might help. Yeah, let's do that just because. Unfortunately, these robots or these drones are going to have to go a little bit further. But that's fine. Because I'll do is I'll just move the conveyors then. Simple. Yeah, simple.
but if I click the right spot. Oh, that's expensive. My bad. That's okay. You gotta spend money, make money, right? Anyway, I'm gonna do a cut here and I'll bring you back when we're ready to re uh, sell our research. Okay, as you can see by the, the blue glowing lights, we do have research we can collect. But I think we're gonna hold off on that for a minute. We'll let that build up. Because I just realized we have some spots over here. Now, I'm thinking about actually selling this one because they're taking too long to get there. So we'll sell that. We'll uh, place a road back in. And then we'll go over here and actually see what we have. And I think this is going to be possibly iron. Iron. Perfect. All right. So same thing. This is going to go into combiner. This actually needs power too. Uh, we'll get the power connected in just a second here. Uh, let's see. You know what? This will actually be perfect. Uh, yes. Uh, rotate. Go back over to production. Get a crate there, or crater, and power. Now let's see how far I have to go with these poles. That's stretching it. Oh, nice! It only goes as far as it'll allow. So that way you don't have to try to find it. It's ugly, but it works. All right. Anyways, let's uh, grab our research. 26,000. So let us see what we can unlock. Now we're going to need to get the refiner and factory because that's where the fun stuff begins. So we'll get out of there. Now we get into the factory. This is our factory and we get to choose the color that we want. And basically you, you click and drag, but it is kind of expensive. So what I think we're going to do is worry about getting this up and running try to make a little bit more money so same thing we'll put another unload station here and set the priority to high and let's see here we need a drone drone hub I believe if I can afford it I will in a minute wait for it wait for it I'll go into the red for this if I have to and payday. Okay, good. We get a couple more drones quickly. There's one. Oh, uh, I need a ten grand for. Uh, what should we call it there? Tr truck stop. And there's ten grand. <laughs> uh, it's so easy. Insufficient funds. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, well, I do now. I think I just waste a crate on that, but oh well. Okay. Set priority that to high. Okay, uh, let's see here. I can't set priorities on him. Hmm, I thought you could actually specify which drone went where and did what. Yeah, that's the unload station. Oh, yeah, let's do none, and we want iron ore. This one will have none, and we'll go to coal ore on this. Okay, and this one, same thing, none, coal ore. Then that way the coal ore only goes there, the iron ore only goes here. Now hopefully, hopefully the drones do what they gotta do. So from here, we got that going through, the deals are getting done, we gotta get some money saved up to build a factory. I actually wonder if the truck's gonna hit the drones. No, they can't. <laughs> okay, that makes things a little bit better. Let's actually try to put factory over here. Let's go for go for an orange one. Put it right in the corner. As you can see, it gets pretty expensive already. Uh, we might have to make might have to make a couple actually. Uh, 
in a while. I'll try to get this one here. Wait for that an empty truck leaving. Why? I'll fill it up in a sec. I do want to get it kind of bigger. And I don't want to wait. So we'll just do it that way. Okay, we'll do that. So this is our factory. Now, we do get sort of like a wall down view, and it doesn't matter which angle you look at it. It has two walls down so you can see inside. But that's because it's selected. If I unselect it, and this is what you get. Now, as you can see, we have no doors, which are those, a thousand apiece. And we'll actually place one right there. Let's put two of them, actually. And that way we can send this in, get it processed, and brought back out to the truck. And then we'll get another one over here eventually when we get the funds for it. Of course, it does need power. Now, with the warehouse buildings, you don't actually have to power everything. You just got to power the building, and then the machines that you put inside actually get power. So from here, we go to a refiner, which means I got to wait for a truck to show up. Yeah, why have a, do, do I have empty trucks coming in? That makes no sense. And I thought you could set boundaries on these drones. No, apparently not. Anyway, I'll bring you back when we got some cash. Alright, there we go. We got some money. We just lost money to the power company, but we have two trucks going out, so that's good. I actually want to see how much that iron's worth. We got 62 for the coal. 67 for the iron. That's in its current state. Once we process it, then it's worth more. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a... Uh, yeah, we'll take a refiner. Sorry, I'm trying to, trying to think of the name of it. And we're going to put it, put it right here. I want to put another door on here. We'll put it... We'll put it there. Uh, I do want to try to have as many load and unload sections as possible just to have like a bit of a buffer, right? Okay, now this one I do want to set priorities on, or a filter, so none. Uh, we have iron ore going in. Okay, we're good. And setting you to priority high. So then that means you are only going to be taking iron. Iron ore is going to go in, get processed, come out as iron. And you can see that right here. I actually wonder how close you can zoom in on here. Uh, that's quite, quite good. Really good models, I do like it. And there we go, we have actual processed iron. Which not only increases the amount we're producing per month, but also gives us more money. And we do have some more cash, so let's get another uh, another factory set up over here. I'm going to try to get the same size one as I had over there. A nice 4x4. Four four. And it won't let me. Because that is in the way. Can I build it over here? No, it won't let me. Hmm. We're gonna have to move the power line. Yeah, you gotta love that. I know Satisfactory does that too, but that doesn't matter, it's still pretty cool. Excuse me. Okay. We are good. Oh, I need a couple of doors. I'll put a door on this side here. Uh, I wonder if I should try to actually build two of these things. And I need money. Gotta wait for those trucks. Oh, look at that. We have some research research to, to collect. Ah, I hit the wrong button. And that means I lost all my research. And I wouldn't say I hit the wrong button. I just still had the demolition tool. Oh, oh! There goes twenty thousand points. Anyway, I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm back. And things are starting to roll. I had to get four more drones because I forgot to... Actually, I didn't have the money to buy them. Uh, they definitely do need some sort of, like, boundary system because they're, like, flocking back and forth from these both places. So I got a truck waiting here and then nothing's going on or I have drone standing here with a box in his hand not doing anything but anyways uh, as you can see we are up to 30 grams so that means we can start processing this so we're going to go ahead and we get the refiner now i think i was thinking about getting two of them i can actually sort of afford it and we might actually do that now unfortunately we can't actually build outside the doors with the conveyors but let's do that let's get two of those and we'll start with the, the load stations. And then we'll do, yeah, we can only do two there. And I will have money as soon as that truck leaves. It's leaving empty again. Why? I don't know. Got two trucks going out. We'll be able to finish this up. And then uh, I've been sent priorities too. Uh, I'm keeping the unload stations of the, the craters to a, a medium. And then the outputs on the refiners to a high, just to make sure that if there's pr product produced ready to go, that it's got to get out the door, more or less. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I think I do. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, one more truck. One more truck. While we're waiting for this, if you also look up at the top left there, you can see that it says factory. Now this building has power, so fit machines are running. If it gets a water connection, which we'll get into sometime down the road, many, many, many research points later, uh, we'll be able to actually add water to the building and in increase production of our machines by 30%. So that's something to look forward to. No, oh, I'm in the red. And power bill, power bill went through. We're broke. Okay, we'll wait for the next truck to go through. And there we go. Now we can get this to start making money. I'm gonna change these to iron only. That one and oh, sorry, coal only. Okay. And this is going to be for none but coal, priority high. And uh, none but coal, priority high. And then this is going to be priority high. Actually, I should probably have these priority medium. And I think that'll be machine dependent. So if I have this priority high and this priority medium, They'll take this off before putting it in here if there's some. But if there's nothing here and there's stuff there, that I'm sure that this will overwrite this. Maybe. But with that, now we're actually producing more. So let's get out of here. Let's get out of there. And let's check what we're at right now. So we're up to 318. And we just started. But we do have two factories going. We have one processing our iron. And this is what I mean about this guy standing here. And then, even though he's working on the iron, he's gonna go all the way back to the coal. So, yeah, I wish there was a way you could actually, like, like I said, say, hey, you're only working in building two and truck stop four, for instance. But, anyways, I think it's a good place to call it here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.